In a night that brought free Qdoba to 100 students and a variety of high statistics to many players, Cody Zeller led the team 19-19 in the 100-69 victory against Central Connecticut State. A lot of really good basketball. I mean, Cody 19 and 19. Goodness gracious! I mean, he was just—he was fantastic, and uh, it wasn't like he was given any advantages, you know, around the basket by any stretch of the imagination. So he earned everything that he got. And I thought Christian played really well. Again, triggered his defense. Victor has 20 deflections, five steals, uh, drawn the assignment of the nation's leading scorer, and did a fantastic job. I think it was a, it was a, it was a full team effort. You know, Will was on him, Remy was on him. I think we all did a pretty good job of him. I'm not getting, letting him uh, be comfortable out there, you know, getting to his sweet spots and, uh, you know, uh, making him use his offhand and things like that, you know. So um, I think we all did a pretty good job on him, but, you know, we gave someone else, uh, what, what do you have, a 40 or something like that. So, you know, back to the drawing board and, you know, we got to do better than that. So I think just having a week off, I was fresh. We um, you know, had a lot of things, worked on a lot of little things in practice, just, uh, you know, posting up lower. Uh, working harder. Um, you know, there's a lot of little things that we worked on this week that was good. Although there were great aspects of the game, when Austin Etherington went down with a knee injury, the Hoosiers had to take a moment and honor their fallen teammate. It's going to take a little time to make that determination. So, but they're, they're fully in the process of that. He was in a lot of pain when it happened, so it, it takes a little time for that to settle down before they can get to the, to the uh, uh, degree of, of where it's at. So we'll find out, you know, more you know, tonight, later, and but, but right now, I mean, there's no definite, definitely, you know, significant injury, so we'll just see how it plays out. From Assembly Hall, I'm Sarah Gurian, Inside Indiana.